Hey guys, I'm Brian. I need you to watch this whole video because I'm gonna show you something that is gonna completely change everything you thought you knew about airplanes and aviation. Grab a drink and have a seat because it's about to get crazy. Hey guys, as a pilot, it's really, really important that we know where the wind is coming from. Not only do we take off into the wind, we also land into the wind. But spoiler alert, when you're in flight school, one of the very first things they teach you is that wind is invisible. If something's invisible, you can't have any idea where it's coming from. That is until now. I've developed a product for pilots that's gonna change aviation as we know it. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the wing sock. Don't you mean wind sock? No, wing sock. No, wind sock. Sounds like you're saying wing sock. That's not a thing. It's, a, it's called a wind sock. Yeah, I know what a wind sock is. This is the wing sock. And that just sounds like a made up word. All words are made up words, actually, if you think about it. All right, wing sock. Um, why do I need it? All right, so have you ever been flying and you're coming into an airport and you have no idea which runway to use? You can't see the wind sock on the ground. And so you're just a big guessing game or you're calling and asking people, you know, where you're supposed to land. Can I get a wind check? Anybody know which way the wind's blowing? Never again are you gonna to have to worry about which runway to use when you wanna take off or when you wanna land because you're always gonna have a clear view of the wing sock right outside the pilot's window. This is easily the most dependable instrument on this airplane. Gainesville traffic, can I just 420, Papa is departing runway 36. We are uh, departing to the west, Gainesville traffic. you've just seen is a flawless departure utilizing only the wing sock to determine wind direction and also for rudder input. There's a whole lot more in-flight video, but let's talk a little bit more about the product itself. Cancel trap, Bonanza 33 Blizzki Hotels, two mile uh, final for runway 36. The wing sock uses my proprietary suction formula, which is strong enough to handle hurricane force winds. By that, I'm specifically referring to the eye of the hurricane. You can suction cup this to the top of the wing and fly in that part of the hurricane, and it's 100% guaranteed to probably not come off. One unique feature is this bird strike resistant mounting option. Other competition products are locked vertical, so if a bird hits it, guess what? The suction cup is so strong, it will actually pull the wing and rip the wing right off the plane. Now you're screwed. My product absorbs the energy of the bird and flexes, slicing the bird into much more convenient pieces which can be captured into the wing sock for later use. Prior to my invention, the only way pilots knew which way the wind was blowing was by looking at the direction shadows were going on the ground and flying opposite that. That's fantastic, but what do you do at night? There's no shadows at night. Well, I got you covered. Wing sock comes standard with built-in LED lighting that's just bright enough to ensure that you can see the wing sock out there on the wing, but it's not so bright that it's gonna distract you while you're trying to land your plane at night. Check out this clip of me using it at nighttime. All right, my GPS tells me I got a tailwind, but I got science on the other side of this window here, which tells me the opposite. This thing's more accurate than GPS. Northwest traffic command, she is turning base 35, full stop Northwest. All those people down there landing with a tailwind. Not me. Northwest traffic, Archer 600 to do Foxtrot turning. Base, runway 35, Northwest traffic. The good thing about this invention is you can get information in the air and on the ground. Prior to this genius invention, there were only a couple of ways that you could get the wind direction on the ground. One was, I don't know, sticking your thumb out and licking it. Thanks, Brian. Sticking it up in the air and using your thumb to figure out which way the wind was going. Or take some grass, drop it, and see which way the wind blows it. Currently, the wind's going that direction. And that works great on the ground, but you can't do that in the air. Let me show you why. I wonder which way the wind's blowing. It's too dangerous to open this window while trying to stick your thumb out and figure out which way the wind's coming from because what happens is as soon as your hand gets in the airstream, the thumb dries out. When the thumb's dry, it's not an accurate instrument, so it doesn't work. That direction. And throwing grass out the window, you can't see it long enough to determine which way the wind's actually going. So neither of these methods work in the air. I don't think I learned anything just now. All right, so now that I got my wing sock, I know exactly which way the wind's blowing. I can see it. Wind's blowing that way. 
I found since installing the wing sock, my uh, I consistently had headwinds. Although sometimes I do seem to be getting excellent ground speed in spite of the headwind. I don't know the physics of it, uh, but I know I always land the right direction every time. And I Now I know what a lot of you are thinking, that's great, Brian, I'm gonna get in the plane, I'm gonna know which way the wind's blowing, but what if I don't wanna have to wait until I'm in my airplane to know which direction the wind's blowing? Guys, guys, this wing sock is actually vehicle agnostic. You put this right here on your car as you're driving to the airport, and even before you get to your plane, you'll know exactly which way the wind's going. It's really, really smart. I think it's also important that I take a moment to tell you that while this is a fun and a very useful instrument, you may be wondering, Brian, is this going to make me a better pilot? And I think the answer is yes. Let me explain why. Um, I think ever since I've been using this, I have been significantly a better pilot. And the reason I say that is because since adding this, I've noticed poor airmanship in other pilots. Um, it's not that I feel like I'm that much better, but I'm hyper aware of pilots that are worse than me now. Um, at least four times since I've put this on my wing, I've found pilots taking off directly at me or landing directly at me using the wrong runway. I'm more hyper aware of that stuff now. And so I think that tells me that this tool has actually made me a better pilot, improved my own airmanship. So does it make you a better pilot? Yeah. The only bit of unfortunate news that I have right now is the wing sock really is only gonna work for low wing aircraft. But if you look at airports around here, the predominant aircraft uh, are low wing. Uh, there's more low wings than there are high wing because they're just better. Um, I just haven't figured out how to make suction cups that work inverted. Uh, mine don't. Uh, they only work when they're sitting on top of a wing. It's, it's, it's really complicated and I can explain it, but you wouldn't understand it anyway. So uh, high wing pilots for now, um, you're out of luck. So I actually put part of this video as a teaser out on TikTok and one person commented pointing out that uh, one thing that works really well is you can look at cows on the ground and apparently they angle their butts into the wind so you can determine which way the wind's going by how the cow is facing. Unfortunately, I haven't yet figured out how to mount a cow onto the wing of an airplane, but I've got it in my notes and I'm, uh, I'm gonna work on something. So for the agricultural sort of people who know that kind of stuff, um, a cow mount is coming. Uh, I just have to design it, so um, stay tuned. All right, so that's kind of it for this video about the wing sock. Um, a couple of things, uh, my company, Common Core Aviation Products, is uh, gonna start building a whole line of other devices. Um, we've got a weather vane version. We're gonna have a tetrahedron version. We're gonna have a much smaller scaled down version of the wing sock that's for internal use. So if you're in hard IMC and you can't see the wings, this one would just sit on your glare shield. And so from inside the plane, you can see directly which way the wind is coming from. So it's a lot to take in. We all learned a whole lot, but I'll tell you what, I'm very, very confident in this product. So confident, in fact, I wanna show you this. Even though the FAA hasn't approved it yet, I'm so confident in the product that I've rented out 500,000 square feet of warehouse space and I've ordered over a million units. I've got them here. I've hired a massive team of people that are ready to pick, pack, and ship the wing sock for you. So I think this is game changing. I think it's gonna get approved soon. We're making aviation better and safer. So if you wanna order one, all you gotta do is go to my website, worldsgreatestpilot.com, click on the link for the wing sock and you can order one. Go ahead and put it on your plane and start using it. It's probably gonna be approved before it arrives. I've got a lot of confidence in this. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, I hope you go to my website, worldsgreatestpilots.com, and click on the link and get yourself a, a wing sock. I think you uh, will benefit from it. It'll improve your pilot skills. Uh, thanks to Gold Seal uh, for sponsoring the channel. I really appreciate that. Thanks to all the Patreons. Thanks for everyone who likes, shares, comments, subscribes. Uh, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Uh, Y'all fly smart, and I'll catch you in the next one.
Click this link to see the most recent video upload. Click this link to see a video that YouTube thinks you might like. Click this link to subscribe to my channel.